Hi, y'all. So today I really, really wanted to try goth makeup. So I have a couple pictures here. I'm kind of taking little bits of inspiration from each one and I'm going to do my best. This is my first time ever trying goth makeup. So I primed like normal and then I mixed my lightest foundation with a white mixing medium that I've had for forever from e.l.f. I'm not even sure they make it anymore. But there's lots of white mixing mediums out there that you can get. And I guess I should have done more because it really only lightened my foundation maybe one or two shades. But I don't know. Maybe it was a good thing because I didn't want to dive right in and do like all white foundation because I don't really have anything to contour with with white foundation. Like I've also looked up some videos and the girls who do like a full white face, they basically have like a gray contour and I don't have anything like that. So I was just trying to make my face lighter than the rest of my body, but not completely white. And yeah, I think I could do a little bit more, but this was okay for my first try, I guess. So I'm just going to bounce all of that foundation in with a beauty blender and then also use my lightest uh, concealer. This one's from Wet n Wild. It's the absolute lightest shade that they have in the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. So I'm just putting that all under my eyes and I did put a little bit on my chin and between my brows as well just to amp up my coverage a little bit in those areas and I'm just going to pounce that out and then just kind of go in with a little bit of contour. I normally do a lot of contour, a lot of bronzer, but I wanted to keep it really light because I wanted to be very, very pale, as pale as I could be basically. So I'm going in with my lightest bronzer that I have that is also relatively cool toned compared to like other other bronzers that I have, I guess. And then I'm just going to lightly, lightly blend that out. And then I'm just going to kind of let the face sit and settle and do its thing. And I'm going to start working on the eyes because when you're doing some makeup for the first time, you just kind of, well, at least for me, I just kind of hop around and I do something here and there and then I got to like step back from it and take a look at it later and see how it's all coming together because it's all completely new to me. So I'm just going to blend out this little contour bronzer and then I'm going to use my About Face dark brown eyeshadow. I'll have all of the products and the shade names listed down below in the description bar if you're curious about any one product that I'm using, but I'm going to go in with this dark brown liquid matte eyeshadow that they have and start mapping out this dark smoky eye. I'm just putting that all over the lid and then I'm going to take a brush and kind of pounce it around. That's not the right word, but just kind of blot it and not really scrub it too much. And then I'm going to start trying to make this more winged out shape. I was kind of using this picture right here as my inspiration, I guess you could say for the shape of the eyeshadow one to be really big, really winged out. It's not my favorite look on myself and my eye shape, but I think I just need to get used to it or I just need to get better at doing it on my kind of eye shape. I have pretty round eyes, like eye sockets, I guess, and they're pretty deep set, my eyes. So I don't really have like a fully hooded eye, but I do have a deep set eye and very round eye bones, so it makes a wing always disappear and look really wonky. So I, if I'm doing a winged look like this, it has to be huge, which was my main inspiration, I guess you could say, was that if I'm going to do a winged out eyeshadow or liner look, it has to be big and dramatic and very gothic and very much this. Otherwise, it looks really weird on my eye shape. So I'm going to blend that out as best I can and then go in with some cool tone browns from my Morphe Matte Essentials 18 count, pal 18 count eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to smoke that out a little bit more and make the blend a little bit better. And then I'm going to start going in with a black eyeliner on the waterline, on the upper lid, and all along my lash line, and then start kind of blending it out with this smaller detailed brush. And I'm going to smudge it out along my lash line, but also start taking it into the crease like this little winged out shape. I really liked in these pictures how the liner kind of all went into the crease. I don't even really know how to explain it. Like it winged out, but it also went back into the crease, if that makes sense. 
and I really, really liked that. So I'm trying my best to try to recreate that, but a little bit softer. Those pictures are with eyeliner, and I just really did not want to try to do that my very first try because, of course, it would go horribly, horribly wrong. I'm, I never use liquid eyeliner, so... I knew that that would just be a disaster waiting to happen. But with this, as you can see, you can control it a lot easier and go in a little bit at a time and just kind of smudge things out. So I do it in that wing liner shape, but then I also take that right into my crease. And then the eyeshadow on the lid is just left being really, really dark brown, but you can still kind of see the black and brown separately, which I really liked. I know that the first reference picture that I showed was like fully just a black winged out smoky eye, but I kind of felt like I wanted that differentiation, but I don't know. I'm going back and forth. I think it's just because this is my first time trying it that I keep going back and forth, but I think I do want to try like fully just totally a hundred percent black winged out smoky eye no brown just going for it but maybe I'll try that in an upcoming video y'all let me know if you want to see me try that so on the bottom I also used a mixture of a dark brown and black and as you can see I'm having a lot of fun I love this I'm definitely going to try other goth makeup looks in the future because this was actually so fun I don't think I pulled it off 100% but this was absolutely the most fun that I've had doing a makeup look or trying a makeup style in a long, long time. This was so, I just felt so cool. I don't know. So I was definitely having fun. I was, I, and I always smoke out my lower lash line like a whole lot. So that was no problem for me. I just went right in. And then here again, that original reference photo that I showed, she had purple on the inner corner. So I was trying to do that as well. I think I kind of messed it up or just, I don't know. It didn't look quite right on me. It looks kind of cool. Maybe I'm just not used to it. That's probably why I think it looks weird, but yeah, I'm just putting this. This is from the lip bar, I think is the brand. And I'm not even sure this is like a brand anymore. I know that they were exclusively sold at Target and they had some very cool eyeshadows and really good products. So I hope they're still around, but yeah, I'm just popping this nice sparkly liquid eyeshadow on my inner corner and then kind of dragging it a little bit onto that lower lash line and onto my upper lid. And then I'm going to move on to doing like my brows, mascara, and then I want Wanted to do a really cool lip with this look as well and I also just powdered just under my eyes a little bit a lot of the goth makeup looks that I've seen are really really matte so I wanted to keep that I think in the future I might you know add some highlight or something fun and like that but for the rest of the face other than where you'd put the highlight on the top of the cheekbones or like the nose a lot of the looks were very very matte so I wanted to kind of stick with that so I'm just going to do some mascara and I'm going to do my brows off of camera. I did actually pluck them really, really skinny. I do tend to do that on my own because, like I said, I have not fully hooded eyes, but they are deep set. So I actually like to pluck my eyebrows really skinny so that I have more lid space. So that wasn't totally new to me. So I did them just darker than I normally would, but they're already pretty skinny. For my lip, I knew when I saw this picture, I just knew that I had to try to recreate this lip. I think this is absolutely gorgeous on her. It looks, I mean, her whole makeup look looks absolutely stunning, but I was really drawn in by the way that she did her lips with the full black lip on the top and then just the liner on the bottom. I thought that was so cool. And it definitely gives that villain girl from Kim Possible. Does anybody else get that reference? That is like, it was just so cool and I love the way that it looked so I think it looked pretty cool I mean in the end I could not stop getting the black transferring to the lower lip I tried to put some pink lipstick kind of in that area just to make everything blend a little bit better and make it look a little bit less obvious when the black was transferring I tried my best but I, I do think it looks really really cool I'm just not sure about wearability but that might also just be a product issue and not really like have anything to do with anything else. It could just be that the lip black lip liner that I have just transfers a lot. 
Also, toward the end, I decided I needed a little bit of color on my face. I am definitely a blush girl, so I couldn't go with nothing, but I did try to keep it really minimal and basically just put two circles out here. Definitely referencing this photo from the beginning. And I just put like two circles on my cheek and then put some on the bridge of my nose. And that did satisfy me. I think I just needed a, I need a better color. Like I kind of want a more pastel pinky blush for when I'm doing like a goth style makeup. But hey, I'm working with what I got here and I think it still came out really cute. And then here I'm just trying to kind of clean up that bottom lip a little bit and just make the pink pop a little bit more and I'm just feeling it right now. I love this look and this is how it all looked in daylight and I love it. I think I could punch it up more if you are a certified goth girly. Definitely let me know down below any tips, tricks, products, things that I could do better. I definitely want to get better at this kind of look and this was so fun to do. Like I just want to do it all the time now. So definitely let me know down below and like I said earlier, I'll link all the products or I'll list all the products down below and I'll link my other YouTube channel, my TikTok, and my Instagram if you want to follow me everywhere. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye!